Uh, I was talking to one of my clients the other day, and and they were they seemed a bit confused on you know things to things to eat, on how to cook those foods, and really almost frustrated that what they were doing was not working for them. So. I gave them this one tip that completely changed completely changed the way that they look at look at the week and look at you know I'm having really having a plan because it turned out that really you know besides knowing not to eat sugar and 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 you know to eat broccoli is only just the tip of the iceberg um, and what I'm going to talk to you about today is really having a plan and um, in in it attacking your week so you've got all weekend you got you got Saturday and Sunday um, if you all, if you have 20 minutes to sit down and 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 develop a plan right before you go grocery shopping um, it can save you hours and hours and hours on end um, this tip may be helpful helpful for you if you often find find yourself you know coming home from work and you know you're tired. You've had a long day, and you get home, and you just you, you kind of look around and, and wonder to yourself, it's like, you know, what am I going to have for dinner tonight? Um, and you know, more times than not, you end up reaching for the most convenient thing, which is the chips and salsa, or you know, possibly even just replacing everything with wine because because you don't you don't have the the energy to cook anything, or you really don't have the you know, it's just it's a drive after that long day, and I completely understand. And, and you're, thankfully, you're not the only person that that may be having some of these problems. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you one tip amongst you know amongst thousands. Um, but this one tip is is just going to be like a game changer for you. So, like I said earlier, I want you to take a, about 30 minutes to maybe 45 minutes to plan out um, plan out your week just uh, one day of the weekend. So plan out your week and I'm going to I'm going to show you exact uh, the exact way on how I do it and how how we do or I do it with my uh, my family. Um so myself and um myself and and my fiance now we have this app on our phones. You carry this phone around all the time, might as well use it for something productive, right? Um so when you're not watching YouTube or you're not on Instagram, um Head on over to Wonderlist, and I'm going to show you the app right here. So Wonderlist is it looks just like this. It has the star. Um, the best way the best way to uh, to use this is just to go download and kind of re or kind of search through it. If you and your partner have the exact same app, then what I can do here, and it looks just like this on my on my uh, phone screen. What I can do here is I could add grocery line items, or I could have add meal items um, to where we both can go in and if say if I go to the store or I'm, I'm out and about I can stop by the store and pick up the milk it looks like pick up the the dessert orange juice eggs yogurt butter banana cereal uh, these these guys are are not eating completely paleo but we'll give them a break right um, so download this app and this is this is how we plan out our meals and write our grocery list um, and now I'm going to show you how to look at the week. So I've typed this up, and pardon me if it's if it's just kind of bare. I've I've done this in the last five minutes. Um, so take a screenshot of this. Do whatever you want with this. Just use it as 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 much as possible. So the idea here is to plan out your your meals a week in advance, so you know exactly what you're having on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Now Saturday and Sunday, this is a time to regroup, look at what you did throughout the week, and kind of devise a, a, another plan going in. Um, we personally don't, um, you know, we don't plan for Saturday and Sunday just because you know things happen, and you know if we're going to go out to eat, those are those would be one of the days that that I choose to to go out. Um, that being said, Thursdays more you know, more times than nine times out of ten we use throw uh, throw we use Thursdays as throwback Thursday. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and give you like how to prep those meals. Throwback Thursday to us is just left overnight. Um, so say we get together on Sunday. Um, you know me and my, me and my fiance get together on Sunday and and we you know we look at the week. What do we what do we want to have for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Um, we always start here with the protein. So proteins are beef, fish, pork, chicken, whatever you know, things that you know, foods that that obviously um, are 
obviously, you know, come from, you know, come from animals, um, you know, whatever, you know, what, whatever your, your preference may be there. Say if you don't, uh, if you don't eat beef, then go for fish. Um, if you don't eat pork, you know, some, some do or some don't. Um, but what we do is we try to add a lot of variety. Monday is going to be based around ground beef. Tuesday is going to be based around fish, pork on Wednesday, ground beef again on Thursday, and then chicken. Now, it's good to have these categories, and I made these in bold, because you could have, you know, we could we could make ground beef Monday and Thursday. They don't have to be the exact same. So uh, ground beef, like a uh, subcategory to us, like what I'm going to make out of the ground beef would be spaghetti, taco salad, zucchini boats, you know, one of, one of those three. And then they're, they're not limited to these three at all. Um, I'm going to make some sort of fish on Tuesday, some sort of pork, some sort of ground beef again. So if I made taco salad on Monday, if you look down here at Thursday, um, I can make hobo pies on Thursday, whatever that may be. Be as creative as possible. Just have a good baseline of what where your protein is coming from. Now, if you look on category um, three and four, these are based around vegetables. Always try to have one source of protein and two servings of veggies. If you don't know anything about serving size, just look at a, about this, the, the size of your palm. Okay, so I'm going to have a protein source. Maybe that's a piece of steak. Maybe that's a piece of chicken about the size of my palm. Same thing goes for the veggies. Now, instead of just one palm size of veggies, it's going to be two palm sizes. This time with the spaghetti, I'm going to eat spaghetti squash and I'm going to have a salad. And this time with the grilled salmon, I'm going to have sweet potatoes and black eyed peas. With the pork tenderloin, I'm serving turnip greens and another salad just because I like that. Um, with the hobo pies, we're going to have onions and squash. And with the, let's say the, the paleo pot pie, I'm going to put carrots, uh, carrots, carrots, I'm going to put carrots and I'm going to put white potatoes in that. So um, what this is how I can um, make sure that I have my grocery list down, down solid. Um, so on Wonderless, I'm going to go in and type, um, I need ground beef, I need spaghetti squash, and I need lettuce. Now, if you're making taco salad, you may need some spices, right? Um, for fish, I'm going to make sure I have, I go buy some salmon. I'm going to make sure I have sweet potatoes, and I'm going to make sure I have black-eyed peas. So in a very basic in a very basic way, you just get the, get the essentials, what you don't have at your home, and put them on the grocery list. So... Hopefully this, help, this helps. Um, this is going to, again, make sure that you don't get home from work and not know what the heck you're going to eat for dinner. Um, and make sure you know go makes going into the week easier because you know you have a plan and you know exactly exactly that uh, what you what you'll have um, you know to carry through Monday to Monday to, to Friday and then when you get to Friday again let's break it down learn from what we did make it a little better and go forth. Guys, if you had, if you need any more information, please go to uh, www.factionsc.com or email us, send us a contact, send us a contact us uh, link on our website. Um, reach us as, as uh, the best. All right, guys, see you in the gym.